Okay. Ten myths. That I've heard by atheists or read in their silly, silly books. And I'll probably do a part two. Because there's far more than ten. But let's just stick with ten. Number one. Um... Oh, let's just dispel these things, because I wrote them in the negative, I guess, now that I look at it. Jesus didn't write the Bible. Can't tell you how many times that, uh, whether in writing or in conversation, that somebody brings it up. Did you know that Jesus didn't write the Bible? Or they'll say, didn't write the entire Bible. He only wrote the Gospels. He didn't write the Gospels. He was dead for 15 to 30 years before any of that stuff was written down. The Bible is infallible. There's another lie. The Bible is infallible. I think they get this one from the Protestants. No, nobody believed that. And uh, I'm speaking on behalf of traditionalist Christianity. You know, that type of Christianity that existed for 2,000 years. Not necessarily American Christianity, but Christianity as it's always existed everywhere, except maybe, you know, parts of the United States and by a few African warlords. The books of the Bible were decided at Nicaea. The books of the Bible were decided at the Council of Nicaea. No. Gnostic and heretical Gospels were burned by the Church. No. That's why we have so many of them, right? Because they were burned. Christianity caused the Dark Ages. That's a big one. Even though it shortened the period known as the Dark Ages and brought us out of it. Uh, and I'll tack on something else. The, the, the evil Roman Catholic Church uh, destroyed works of paganism. And yeah, that's why we have all those Greek plays in Thing before somebody chimes in, oh, what about Islam? Uh, the church existed for almost a thousand years before Islam came on the scene. And those copyists happened to be under the newly conquered Saracen territory. And when they left, they brought these Christians, sometimes Zoroastrians, brought uh, the works of the ancient Greeks and Romans to the West, to Christendom. Six, Galileo was imprisoned <coughs> for claiming the earth went around the sun. Heliocentrism. No. 
and it didn't really have to do with his attitude either. It was his description of gravity. See, there's a guy named Copernicus that, uh, you know, 100 years before, uh, you know, raved and ranted, ranted about this theory and no repercussions came upon him. The church outlawed prostitution and gambling, even though Thomas Aquinas argued for the uh, legalization of prostitution. The Spanish Inquisition killed almost 10,000 people in a 350-year period. No, you're going to have to cut that number into a third. But at the same time in Protestant countries in Northern Europe, and keep in mind, nobody was burned at the uh, Spanish Inquisition. Um, there were 150,000 men, women, and children burned for being so, 3,000 over a 350-year period, and they were executed, not burned, executed for things like espionage, spying, murder. The Crusades were unprovoked imperialism. Really, from the year seventeen, from the year seven hundred, for the next three hundred years, relentless raiding and plundering and conquest of over three quarters of Christendom, and then when the Turks came into power, slaughtered every single Christian pilgrim in Palestine and destroyed the most holy shrine in all of Christendom. Yeah, unprovoked. Number 10, for the first 1,800 years, the Pope was infallible. I hate to break it to you. The Pope has only been infallible while speaking ex cathedra for less than 100 years. And again, I am not a Roman Catholic. Hispanic flag for you.